Hey everybody and welcome back to Fallout 4. Thank you all for clicking on that thumbnail and checking out this episode. It means a lot. Now for this episode I'm going after Kellogg. I've hunted him down to where he's hiding out. And I've got Nick Valentine with me. What I will do though is uh, to start off with is swap out my gun for a better one. Not necessarily like a strong gun compared to some of the guns in the game, but it'll do. I think it's one of the strongest guns I've got on me at the moment. I still haven't gone back to see Paladin dance, actually. I have to do that. Yeah, what I might do <laughs> is backtrack a little bit and uh, go and do that, uh, do that quest for Paladin dance before I do this one. Yeah, I got a few actually. So yeah, I'll do the one for Paladin Dance. Or which one was it? Call to Arms. Cambridge Police Station. Yeah, this is a rather last minute change, but I thought I'd do it before doing that quest. And I think this might give me some guns as well, like some extra guns and ammo and the like. Fire Droid! Seen a few of them on um, Fallout 76. I've been considering going back to Fallout 76 at some point, probably next year, after they've released a few updates. Um, I think in the last E3, they announced that they're adding human NPCs to the game finally. So it might actually feel like more of a completed game now. If there's people running around the map. But I don't know. I'm holding off my judgement on it for now. Are you gonna patch me up or what? I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. Might Paladin. be more humane Ready to just move out? take you out back and shoot you. <laughs> Why establish an outpost at the police station? Given the nature of the facility, we felt it would be tactically advantageous to search it for weapons and ammunition. The radio tower on the roof was an unexpected boon, but it obviously has its shortcomings that need to be rectified. It might not be as imposing as the Citadel back in the Capital Wasteland, but it suits our purposes. That's all I'm willing to divulge at this point. Are you ready to proceed with the mission? I like when my character doesn't ask about Capital Wasteland. Just like, what? Okay to explain. Ready. Outstanding. Follow me and try not to lag behind. Take the coffee cup. Counting for taste. You better get a move on. It's not a good idea to keep Paladin Dance waiting. Paladin Dance answers to me, girl. Cause I'm the player. And he is an NPC. Um, I'll take that, take that, take that. Do you think any of these have a... Uh, any fuses in them? What do I need? Copper. Yeah, because I found out as well, because I downloaded a few of the DLC packs between episodes, that I can make all types of weird and wonderful armor. Like, different tiers of armor. Yeah. Using some of the conveyor belt stuff. But I just need, like, a ton of bloody uh, like resources to do it, so uh, the only thing really holding me back is I need enough resources to make a power generator. That's the one. Ooh, sunglasses. I'll take that. Military fatigues. I'll take that too. Yeah, all right, I suppose. That kind of suits with the mask as well, so I'll keep that as it is. Yeah, 
I do prefer the leather armor. Not not the leather road. Uh, not the road leathers, are they called? Just like the leather sort of shin pads and pauldrons and whatever. Alright, they don't look too... I uh, look a little bit better. A little bit more colour coordinated. Where's Nick? Oh, there he is. called Raider Scum. What was that, like a Molotov? Okay, I'll take that. I'll take all of this. Life goals. Always necessary. Don't die, don't go missing. Can't you run? I mean, really. Why are we walking like this? I'm sure you should be running. This is this is really slow. This this isn't how fast I travel when I'm in a power armor suit, is it? And I just haven't noticed. I'm sure he was running before this. Ah look, blood flies. Ah, now he's going. Now, am I? No, I'm not fine. Cool. It's something like when people use shouldn't. 
instead of isn't. It's like, yeah, that fills me with confidence. Things shouldn't go wrong, but they probably will. Alright, you first. No? We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and buy the book. Understood? Why are we at Arc Jet again? We're here to retrieve a device that will boost the signal from the radio tower at the Cambridge Police Station. Without it, we can't make contact with our superiors. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. Why can't I go in? Oh, there you go. Like he's like, I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. I'm like, you're in power armor. If one of us is what has to be worried about getting hit, it's me. It was corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they'd done. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security has already been dealt with. Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. Okay. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. Hey, toss anything you can't oh, haul my way. Mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the brother might be interested in. After we're done here, we'll have to mark this place for sweet retreat. Okay. He's too good. Uh, with machines. Yeah. Heads up. You unlock it. Tight. Think you can unlock that terminal? Did a decent job locking this down, but if I just. Well, thank you, Nick. Why the heck are they making us record this? Oh, crap, it's on, isn't it? <laughs> um, this is Technician Rand, Arc Jet Propulsion Division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, work log A1190. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot Project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. Hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're going to get fired. The supervisor is already itching to get rid of us, especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? <sighs> Soon we'll be doing push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. But I'm trying not to imagine getting my head blown off when I'm on the front line, and keeping my mind on work is helping me deal with the problem. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but it's important to me, okay? All right. I'm sorry. Look, why don't you toss this tape, and we'll start a new one. Is it me, or does he sound like he was... Like, well, no, she 
Rumble than he. Does it sound like she forgot her lines? Kinda did, didn't it? Okay, open up the door. Well, I f totally forgot this it was, like, it was like a thing, and I was not really prepared for that. <laughs> Wow. Well, that was exhilarating. Uh, took a shock baton. Institute pistol. Uh, I don't need that. I Hi. recommend the sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. What the hell was that? Stealth capabilities. Fascinating. Ah. All right, dance. You kill those things, and I'll be right behind you the entire time. Okay, I might uh, equip the Institute rifle here. Institute pistol. No, you don't. Okay, so first attempt at lockpicking. It's like how many episodes into this walkthrough now? Yeah. So all these guys are armed with Institute. Just realised how big that gun looks now, compared to uh, well, compared to my character. That gun looks massive. Ooh, I'll take that and that. Alright, where's... Where's what's-his-face? Where's he gone? Craft. Yeah, it says craft. You can't really make things in this, can you? You can just modify them. Ah, I thought one of these guys had a rifle. Right, so where's Dance? He's over here, is he? You take him out, I'll give you moral encouragement.
Eh, should be. But will it be, though? Why is this guy so slow? Look at this place. Scribes have a field day in here. Hey, he can pick up stuff too. I totally forgot that NPCs can do that. Well, companions can do that. Cool. So he's not just equipped with a should be in the control room at the top of the core. Pipe revolver. Like Please jump. <laughs> we'll have to keep heading down for now and find a way to get the facility's power back on. Power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here to watch our backs. Uh, right, okay. Lazy bastard. He's like, I'll stay here and uh, watch our backs. There we go. I'm like, yeah, sure you will. Heads up. Hold this. <laughs> Because I don't want it. I'll see what I can do. But I get the feeling it might be useful further on down the line. There we go. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fuel primed and standing by for command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Good luck, buddy. rating of 96.7 The hey, something's downloaded. Percent. Oh, that went well. Oh my god, are you alright? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Right, yeah, if you hear the microphone cutting in and off regularly, uh, my apologies. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of getting loud in my house all of a sudden, so I turn it off. Going down. But it's only like briefly it's loud, and then I turn it back on. Uh, I know that um, when I do that, it sort of like it makes a little clicking noise. All right, get out of the way of the taking the piss. Right. They'll just appear up, up upstairs, I assume. But yeah, I try not to do like turning on the mic on and off because I know it makes that noise and I don't like it. Where I, if I do, you know, in case I do it when there's like a cutscene happening or whatever. You hear that? Ah! Now you spawn. You dick. Right, there you go. Alright, big guy. You go in ahead.
that's the last of them. Can't look to see we'll see the device anywhere. Take the surface elevator to the surface. Hey, I got that poster. Just a random little thing there, but okay. I got that poster. Going up. Okay, so head back to the... Well, no, we don't have to head back to the police station, do we? He takes the thing and runs away. If uh, memory serves. Takes the doohickey he wants and runs away. So long as you're carrying it. Paladin dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. We're both alive and the transmitter's been secure. There's no need to scrutinize the details. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Hey, that's nice. Righteous authority. Critical shots do double damage, and the critical meter fills 15% faster. I do like the design of the laser rifle. Standard capacitor, long barrel, full stock, standard sights, and no muzzle. Does 26 damage, and I got 253 ammo for it, so that'll come in handy for when I do the next uh, mission with Kellogg. Going after Kellogg. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Opera still stands. Can we count on you? Sure. I'd be honored to join. I'll follow your lead here, but let's try and keep it light on the zealotry, shall we? That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details. Yeah, that's the only problem with... I'll wait for that little fanfare to stop. Cool. Yeah, that's the only problem with joining factions in this game when you've got a companion. They don't always agree. So it's like, uh Alright, so I'll... Might try out, because I'm running close to, like, the end of uh, the allotted time for this episode. Um, so in the next episode, I might try that Semper Invicta. Did I see that properly? Uh, return to the Cambridge Police Station. So I might try that in the next episode. And at some point, I will get around to doing reunions and finishing that for now, though, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you could leave a like, uh, hit that comment section below and maybe hit that uh, subscribe button too. Any one of the three, or all three, or maybe two of the three, whatever. Anything helps. Hope you're all, all, uh, hope you're all enjoying the walkthrough so far. If you've gotten this far in the episode, God bless you. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until next time, you take care.